Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Doris Conception was blinded by her faith. You do not question the priest. And I was one of those parents you do not question the priest. As a young boy, her son, Joseph Anthony Canata, better known as Sonny or Chico, was an altar boy at Mount Carmel Church in Agate. For years, she couldn't explain his rebellious behavior towards then-priest Anthony Aperon. Aperon called me up and told me that Sonny had kicked him on the groin and tried to attack him with a knife and even tried to bring the, the rectory down. And so when my son comes home, I would spank him. And he does not want to go with Aperon because Aperon would say, I need Sonny to spend the night at the house my house with me so we, he can help me do some stuff. And so I figured, okay, Father, go ahead and I get mad at my son. It wasn't until Sonny was on his deathbed did he tell his mother his big secret. He goes, I can't take this with me, Mama. I said, what? Take what? And he goes, Father Aperon molested me when I was an altar boy in Agate and he was a priest. Sonny was 38 years old. Those were his final words to his mother who kept his secret for the last 11 years. She tells KUAM she finally understands her son's rough life. As a student, his grades dropped, and as an adult, he struggled with drug addiction and suicidal thoughts. Although she believed Sonny was the only victim, it was Roy Quintanilla, also from Agate, who she credits for giving her courage to speak out. Just weeks ago, Quintanilla publicly accused accused Aperon of molesting him as a child. I'm happy that Roy came forward. That man has so much courage and he opened the doors for everybody. Conception now lives in Prescott, Arizona, but will return to Guam next week. Her homecoming is her hope for closure. She tells KUAM she's ready to let go and let God do the rest. God is the only one that can give me, help me, give me strength to carry on this burden. I turned to him for guidance and uh, I am bringing my son's ashes home, Sonny. I, I had him cremated and I'm gonna scatter his ashes. As for Aperon. If he has a conscience, okay? I wanna say to him, do what's best for the people. Admit the truth and especially do it for your soul. Because I highly doubt that he will admit any of this. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.